Yo, it's me, Cho. Back to reality after an amazing start to 2023. Yeah, last week I uh, had the pleasure of being in Finland in Pispala, a five hour drive north of Finland, of Finland, of Helsinki. I was there with the youth club around here, Jedna Mladost. So we took 12 teenagers, Sanya and I. Sanya's the, um, the president hmm, of the youth club. Uh, and we headed off up north via Amsterdam to see some Finnish guys we met five months ago in Ireland when we were there on another youth exchange. Uh, this time a lot more relaxed. There are only 24 young people all together. Still a bit of drama, but less drama. Those of activities. Um, yeah. Why are you always finishing in the same place? Stop. But you have longer Yeah, no, uh, no young people were harmed in the making of those videos, except for one person who jumped into snow and there was a tree underneath. It was fine, just cleaned it out, bit of plaster, that was it. One uh, young lady who got herself wrapped backwards around a tree with 11 people then crushing her afterwards, but she was fine. She is fine. A uh, little bruise, uh, no broken back, which is the main thing. I don't think anything else, actually. Oh, there was a bit of vomit, a few tears, a bit of blood, a falling over. But, you know, what do you expect when it's minus 16, you're sleep deprived and you're in a new country with new people, new food and everything. So things went well. Things went really well. Everyone was pleased, satisfied, over the moon, whatever you want to call it when we came back. I personally had an awesome time. One of the reasons I run a youth club is to give opportunities to those kind of similar opportunities that I've had in life. Okay, when I was that age, I didn't do that kind of stuff. I was quite a shy lad. I did go on some gifted trip once. Oh, because I'm gifted apparently. Or I was. Maybe I lost the gift. I can move things with my eyes. Yeah, so I went on one of those trips or a couple of those school trips. But it's very different going with... Uh, youth club. You've got no teachers, you've got no parents. I'm not their parent. So try and keep things on a person basis, you know, not parent-child basis. And in return, I expect the same. No, like, meh, 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 meh. Just let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. I'm going to be the responsible one because I'm meant to be that responsible one. But let's also learn a bit and talk to new people and experience different cultures and just make the most of this week because we were all extremely fortunate to be there. The leaders in Finland were amazing at getting everything sorted. They had a bit of money left over in their budget for us to go over there and they made everything happen. Yeah, extremely grateful. I'd never been to Finland before. I think that's country 21 out of 27 in the EU now. So it's counting down, six to go in the EU that is. I've got a few more in Europe uh, uh, generally. So yeah, I got back on Friday night, Saturday, I was emotionally, mentally, and physically destroyed. I had to recover all of Saturday. Didn't feel great. You kind of like a meerkat watching out for some kind of predator. And you're always, you've got your ears open, you've got your eyes open, trying to stop things from escalating, trying to nip things in the bud, because you want everyone to have a good time and you don't want something small to grow and then stop other people having fun. That's it, back to normal now. Did my washing. Washing up, had a beer, you know, usual life. A week before I go, oh, oh, that's heavy. A week before I go back to the UK to see the fandom. Basically, just make the most of this week. Back in Split, Castella, seeing people, catching up, making furniture, buying plants. You'll see, you'll see. Ciao. For your future self, a message. Don't see again. <laughs>